Okay, so we're in Ableton. Um, so I'll just start it on a new project. I'll make it easier. Gotta give it a second. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you'd go into Preferences, File Preferences, oh, sorry, Live Preferences. Come on. There it is. I'll pop up with that. Okay, so you want to go into um, Look in MIDI. And then over here, you see the one through six. Um, what you want to do is uh, click the control surface and you'll come down and, and you know, find the uh, MPK mini, where is it? MPD, MPK, MPK mini right there. So you click that. And then it would, you know, link it. So you close that and uh, you want to load in a sound. So I usually start with my drums. So I go over here and you got your drum rack here. Uh, go ahead and hit tab. It's easier to, to write music on the other screen. So if you hit tab, it switches it to that screen. So I'm gonna tab it back and forward. And then I'll show you another cool tab trick in a minute here. So I just, I, I build my own drums, um, like one drum at a time. But if you want, there's a bunch of stuff just to get you started. I don't have my volume up. I sold my speakers too, so. But that's just giving you a general idea, just playing through all the drums in there. So you can find one you like, or you can download some from the internet. There's lots of places. Um, but for the sake of saving time, I'll take this one and drag it. You want to make sure you're dragging on a MIDI track. Because um, if you try to drag it onto an audio, it won't work. It loads first two tracks are MIDI, meaning ones that you can play like notes into on the keyboard. Second two are um, audio, so like samples and stuff. Okay, so I drag it up into a MIDI. And uh, so you have all your drums here. Um, oh, there's my mouse. And you can just play them one at a time. Um, yeah. And then uh, you wanna. This is this is your prime. Uh, this button right here. That's whatever button is highlighted. You can only highlight one at a time. That's the one you're going to record on to when you're playing, um, playing like it's using MIDI to either write notes on a synthesizer or um, if you're using a microphone, you would go into audio. And then um, the reason this won't highlight is because. Uh, it's not set up for audio in. There's no, it's not connected to anything. I don't have a microphone, but if I plugged a microphone in, you'd be able to see the waves, you know, going up and down. Um, but I just, I don't have that set up right now. Uh, so anyway, so you got your MIDI track number one. And what you want to do is I usually highlight a set amount, like four bars. And then, I'm not sure if you're using Mac or not, but if you are, it's Command-Shift-M. And that'll create a MIDI track that you can double-click on. And watch when I double-click on this. You'll notice the bottom bar changes. So, if that's primed, this this button, you have sounds in, and they're, you know, you can read the sounds, you have sounds there. Um, you should be able to play on the keyboard and, you know, start at the bottom and work your way up. It'll, it'll be better on like a piano, um, synthesizer or something because drums, you only have like probably 12 or something. So you could end up missing it and thinking that the samples aren't loaded when actually they're just like at the lower end of the octave 
And you can switch through the octaves with the little octave button on the keyboard. It's like if this was the keys, it's the top left corner, I think. This is octave up and octave down. That's like a full step in one direction on a keyboard. So anyway, so you got your sounds loaded in and uh, you should be able to play them on the keyboard. I, you can also play them on the keyboard of your um, computer. I just don't know where they're playing. I don't think I'm in the right octave. Let me, if you hit tab again, oops, no, shift tab. That was the other tab trick. That switches just the bottom. With If you do tab, it switches the top. And shift tab switches the bottom back and forth between the views. So um, if I play, if you watch these little things, I'm playing on my, I'm going to play F, G, H, J on my keyboard here. And if you watch these little bars, you can see that's where I'm playing. So if I hit Z and go down an octave, I'm a little bit closer. So I hit Z again, now I'm in the right octave. And you can hear it. And on your keyboard, you'll have way more of a stretch. Um, I only have a few keys here. But, uh, and actually these uh, top row works as, the, um, works as the black keys on a keyboard. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, and I'll just, I'll show you how to record really quick. Um, I, when I'm starting with my drum beat, I turn on the tempo, which is this button right here. Um, so turn that on, and now when I hit play, see off, oops, and then on. So, and I'm gonna set this to like 100, because I don't feel like, um, oops, I don't feel like keeping up with that. Um, so then uh, you can loop this by hitting Command L, or it might be different on the PC, but that, oh, I missed. L, so you see the arrows, they, if I like highlight it over here, do Command L, it'll loop that area and play it over and over again uh, without pausing. So you click it, Command L, it loops it, and now you can double click it to get down into this view. I usually start with my kick drum and that's uh, the lowest on my keyboard, A. Um, so I'll do record. First, I wanna set up my record. Um, so I hit command comma and that'll uh, set that up. Which one is it in? Uh, it's audio, I think, right? No. Oh, record. Okay, so here's your record section right here. The top until the line. Uh, so, um, oh, okay, it's already got count in. So it does one bar, like one four count. It will count in, and then it'll start recording to give you time to, to be ready. So I'm going to come over here and hit record, and then just do basic drum beat. Probably won't be anything great. I'll just do the kick drum. Okay, so that was that. Um, I, my computer froze up a little bit. It caused this note to be 